Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to experiment with the first line and first letters uh, pseudo elements for CSS. So I just made a video on the marker pseudo element, and that got that kind of reminded me of these others. So let's give it a shot. I've already got a page with some uh, obviously some dummy content on there, and let's get to work on this. Okay, now since I want to style only my first paragraph here, I'm going to pick on that one. And that, of course, is the only paragraph that's adjacent to my headline too. Cool, so I'm going to use that to find it. I'll do an H2 adjacent selector paragraph. So basically, um, here I'll just show you real quick. Outline, two pixels, solid, red. This is only going to be my very first paragraph right there. Okay, however, Let's try first line, colon, colon, first line. So when we want to use a pseudo element, we're going to use two colons. Don't confuse that with a single colon like we might use for a pseudo class, something like link, hover, um, that kind of stuff. Okay, so my first line, so that we can see this is working, how about color yellow green and font weight bold. Cool. All right, so clearly we can style the first line of that paragraph, and this could have been written so that any paragraph, basically, is going to get that styling. All right, makes sense. Let's go a step further now with first letter. Okay, so I'll, I'll go ahead and keep that the way it is, and let's try this again. H2, adjacent paragraph, colon, colon, first letter. Let's go ahead and style it like it's a drop cap. Just did that in Microsoft Word uh, uh, the other day. So let's see, first letter, font size, let's make it pretty big. How about four M's, color, and let's just do bright white, and let's put a text shadow on it as well. How about something like three pixels, three pixels, four pixels of blur, and we'll make it dark 222. Let's see if that's getting us something certainly is. So now we have that first letter definitely styled much bigger than the others. Now for a drop cap, it often looks often looks good if we do something like float left, which is going to have the rest of the content wrap around it. Now if this paragraph was a wee bit longer, we might start to notice the effect. So let me just copy some of this filler text, paste it in there, make that paragraph a little bit bigger, and we can see how that text wraps around that letter L. I want to put a little bit more space to the right of that L. How about something like padding right of 16 pixels? See how that looks? Oh, pretty good. Okay, so there we go. Um, if I want to get rid of this first line formatting for that first paragraph, I basically need to contradict or counteract this other one. So let me try this. I'll do H2 adjacent paragraph colon colon first line, my first line for that paragraph, I'm going to do color, hashtag CDC, center for disease control there, and let's see, I'm just looking up at my paragraph styling, just to counteract to, and so the color, I'm contradicting that, and then I need to do something like font weight normal to get rid of that font weight bold, which means my first paragraph is going to have normal first line text, but that special first letter, and then my other paragraphs will have the styled first line. Excellent. Okay, so there we go. There's our first letter and first line pseudo elements. Take care.